Welcome to Mayweather Pacquiao, The Definitive Guide. I'm your host, Michael Montero. This is a four-part weekly series where throughout the month of April, each week progressively, I'm gonna dive deeper into this matchup and give you guys all the information you need to know before the big fight May 2nd. This week's episode is all about numbers, all the numbers related to Mayweather Pacquiao. Before I get started, I wanted to make one quick note. I've gotten hate from some of you on social media because I went on the record as recently as late January saying that I didn't think this fight was going to happen in 2015. I thought it was going to happen next year after Floyd was out of his CBS Showtime deal. In fact, I even made a video in 2014 talking about it. This is when Floyd was talking to or negotiating with Amir Khan. And you can click on it here, I'll put the link below. Uh, check it out. I'm going to address this, okay? We're gonna address this in a future episode of this series, so stay tuned. But this week, I really wanna to get to the numbers. Haters, hang on, it's coming. Some people say that punch stats don't matter. Well, I say that they're full of shit. Punch stats don't tell the whole story, but they do give you a glimpse as to who the fighters are in a big matchup like this. And a lot of the CompuBox numbers I see being floated around on Twitter and Facebook, they're they go back 10, 15 years. It's, it's Floyd Mayweather's entire career, Manny's entire career. I don't think that's relevant to this fight, okay? So I took the punch numbers from Floyd and Manny's last five fights. I put that together here. I'm gonna blow this up on the full screen for you, but a couple of things I really wanted to address. Uh, a lot of people talk about Manny's power advantage, supposed power advantage in this fight. And a lot of people talk about the fact that he has so much more volume than Floyd and that he can outwork him. I wanted to just bring those points up before we take a look at these punch numbers. So let me go ahead and blow this up to the full screen. If you go to the far right, the opponent power punching percentage. This is the percentage of shots that each opponent landed on Mayweather and Pacquiao. And you can see obviously that Manny takes more power punches than Floyd does. He eats more leather. Pacquiao throws more punches. He lands only three more per round though because Floyd is more accurate. At this pace of about 56 punches around Pacquiao's throwing, that comes out to about 670 shots in a 12 round fight. And Floyd's throwing about 480 per 12 round fight. But you know, you go back a few years to when Pacquiao first came up to welterweight. When he fought Cotto, uh, Clotty, Margarito, Mosley. He was throwing about 950 punches per fight. He was throwing 80 punches per round. What's the difference between that Manny Pacquiao and this one? Well, Manny's camp has complained about leg cramps, calf problems, foot problems. Maybe there is some legitimacy to those injuries because when you look at these punch numbers, you see a significant drop in volume from Pacquiao in the last few years. Now when it comes to power, everyone thinks that Manny is the harder puncher. Well at welterweight, the numbers just don't back that up guys. Going back to 2005 when Floyd moved up to 147 pounds, from then till now, Floyd has three official knockouts at welterweight. We all know the Victor Ortiz one has a giant asterisk next to it, but if you want to say Floyd has two legit knockdown or knockouts at welterweight, cool. Now compare that to Pacquiao. He has one stoppage at welterweight, guys, and that was against Miguel Cotto in late 2009 at a catchweight. That was, I, I believe, 145 pounds. And it wasn't a one-punch destructive kind of knockout. It was an accumulation stoppage. I believe it was the 11th or 12th round where the ref stopped the fight. So Floyd has more knockouts, period. Now, if you look at the opponent's faces, that Floyd and Manny have fought. Yeah, Pacquiao does more damage, but that's because he comes forward when he punches. He puts full power into his shots. And we all know that Floyd is a counter puncher. He stays on the back foot. It's basically ones and one twos, right? That's all he does. But when Floyd actually sits down and puts his butt into a shot, when he puts his ass into the punch, my position is that he is just as powerful, if not more powerful at welterweight than Pacquiao, and the numbers back that up. Okay, let's talk tail of the tape. Everybody knows Pacquiao's about 5'6", 67 inch reach. Floyd's about 5'8", 72 inch reach. They're only about a year apart. But what a lot of people don't talk about is the different wear and tear these guys have taken. 
Even though Mayweather is a year older than Pacquiao, Pacquiao went pro a year before Mayweather did. Manny went pro in 95, Floyd went pro in 96. And he's fought, Manny has fought way more consistently over the years. He has 64 pro fights to Mayweather's 47. You guys got to remember between 2008 and 2012, Floyd was kind of semi-retired. In that four year span, he only fought three times. And that's when Manny was moving up in weight and killing everybody, right? He's fighting much bigger guys. And even though he was dominating in those fights, he was eating a lot of leather in those fights too. You look at the numbers, Manny has taken a lot more punishment than Floyd. He's, in my opinion, a step or two past it. Floyd is maybe half a step past it. And that's gonna be the difference in this fight. It's in the numbers. So there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. That concludes this week's episode of Mayweather Pacquiao, The Definitive Guide. I'm Michael Montero, and I'll see you next week.